But praise God. You guys, you guys need Jesus Christ in your life, man. Being as these women out here being naked. You know, this isn't a good thing. The, the Bible said the Bible says that a godly woman, a Christian woman, dresses modestly. You know, going out to the beach wearing your panties is not modest. You know, Jesus said that it's, it's better for you to take a stone, a millstone, and tie it around your neck and throw yourself in the ocean. It would be better for you to do that than to cause someone else to sin. And if you think that walking around naked is not causing all these young men to sin, and these young women, then, then you're, you're blind, you're lost. God bless you guys with a heart of repentance. God bless every single one of you. Jesus Christ is coming back, the Lord is returning. He drew a, 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 a line in the sand. You better cross it while you can. Before it's too late. Turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to Jesus Christ while you still can before it's too late. That's right. See, there's some Christians out here that want to hear the gospel. You know, the good news that Jesus Christ saves. But he's not going to be mocked. If you throw your hand out to save someone from a pit, and they said, give me five minutes, I want to finish this television show, or just finish this beer. Are you going to stand there over the pit with your hand out? Of course not. You're going to say, grab my hand now. God is crying out saying, grab his hand right now. He's here to save you from the pit, from the miry clay, and set you on the rock. The rock of ages, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The rock, the foundation that cannot be shaken. Jesus Christ, Christ talked about the two men, one built their house on the sand, and the storm came, and the man's house collapsed. And then there was another man that built his house on the rock, and the storm came, and the wind came. His house was not shaken, because his house was built on the rock of Jesus Christ. Who do you build your life upon? Jesus Christ? Or do you build it on the sand? Think about it. Where do you build your life? What, what do you what do you baptize your life with? What do you submerge your life in? What are you submerged in? Are you submerged in the Word of God, the Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, Jehovah God? Or are you just following the lust of your flesh like an animal in the forest? You get horny, so you look at some porn. You get excited, so you want to go see a movie. I don't look at porn. I don't look at porn. I don't, I don't even watch television. It's disgusting. Look at all the disgusting things. We, we submit our children to this. You know? Put our kids in front of the television when there's all this sexual morality. All these things that God hates. God says he hates the sexual immorality, the liars, the violence, the lovers of violence. And we're teaching our kids to be lovers of violence. Playing these video games. We're running around shooting each other, blowing each other up. You know, use, using... Uh, witchcraft to perform magic, you know, simulating, emulating all these things. God hates these things. You know, you're you're going to play a video game where it's violence, and then you're going to go to church the next day and, and act like you're right with God? You're not right with God if your life is not centered around God. There is one God, and that is Jesus Christ. That's the only one that you should be idolizing. That's the only one that you should be disciplining your life after. A Christian is a disciple of Christ. And only Christians go to heaven. If you're not a disciple of Christ, if you've not disciplined your life after him, your walk and ways after him, seeking out his word, learning what he wants you to do, then you're not a Christian. Just, just, be, just, just be honest about it. 